Hey there everyone, Pal here. Welcome back. Today we are picking up part two of the Doom secret location items, all that fun stuff. We are into the resource operations. Now I'm just waiting for these guys to group up so I can do that. Um, I did complete that first challenge. I'm not going to go into the challenges. They're pretty straightforward, but you'll see me actually trying to do them a bit as we go through. All right, let's just kill that guy quick. Kill him. Him. And then we're going to go back through. The first secret is actually right by this area with the power. So we're going to pry this door open. Hey, hey, that wasn't very nice. None of that nonsense. Just check a grenade in there. But the first secret is right after we activate the power terminal. We're going to have to go through this little cutscene and listen to Dr. whatever her name is talk rambly nonsense. You believe in honesty. Good, good to know. Hey, we're going to turn around, and rather than heading all the way back down, right there on that ledge, we want to get up there to that ledge. And that jump can be a little tricky without the double jump, but once we get that, we're going to hang right, and then there's a little tunnel back through here, which is going to take us to an armor. And that armor is just the first secret. Go ahead and move our way back through, and we're going to go down through the elevator and clear out the next zone. All right, now after we've cleared out the next zone, we want to go ahead and you'll see there's a piece of armor up there on kind of a bit of a crane crossover. We want to jump up here, up to this armor, and move out here. And there's a hidden little ledge there that can be a little tricky to jump onto. I've fallen from that railing a few times, but we're going to follow that up. And here we are going to find the hidden door lever. Uh, I don't know what these are called. They're, they're, they're a secret for the hidden doors. And we'll go through the little animation, pop that open, and then the door itself is back right here by where all this health is. Go ahead and run in here. I don't need that health, apparently. Open this door up. And boom, they're dead. Nope. Didn't kill them. Oh, there we go. There is the f whoops first secret, or second secret down. First secret was that armor. All right, we're going to have to go, go on and move ahead to the next zone and clear that out. And we'll be back then. Okay, so the next set of secrets are all sort of tied to each other. I've stopped in this little area here, as you're going to fight through one arena, you're going to come through, you're going to get the chainsaw, end up in this little room here. Generally speaking, you run a, they want you to go through here in order to get up and around, as right there is chainsaw fuel. We'll go ahead and, oh, uh, we don't need it, because, uh, oh, I'm going to get crushed. Oop, I made it. <laughs> anyway, this is the room we are looking for. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to climb up here, come to this back area where the yellow security room is. And this is the room that kind of ties the next three or so secrets all together. We can't actually access it right now, but we need to get to this area, go down this hallway, and find the yellow key door. Once we are find the yellow key, once we have the yellow key, we'll be coming back here. I just wanted to show you this room here. This is what we are looking for. So we're going to move ahead again, and we'll be back in a moment. So, here we are. We are now at the yellow key card guy. And right away, you're probably going to want to go ahead and use the uh, the field drone here. I'm actually going to hold off on this, and then you'll see why here in a moment. Uh, but this is what we are looking for to unlock the next few secrets. Go ahead and take this, go through the jump scare. Rah! Yeah. Well, haven't done this before. <laughs> Open this door, and this is going to lead us back to the drop down. Whoops, I did forget about that guy. Right here. Now, rather than go through the door like the game wants you to go through, we're going to jump back up here, back through here, and go into the yellow keycard room. Give us, open it up, open it up, go ahead, pick up health ammo, don't need any of that. And this is going to deactivate all of the doors that have been locked yellow so far. As soon as we do that, we're going to go back around the corner here, and we're going to lift up this little bunker door here. I don't know what it's called. Drop down in. There's going to be a guy right there. Kill him. Watch out for that tank there. Go ahead and kill him. Kill the imp. Boom. Dead imp. Yep. And there is our next Praetor armor upgrade. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to spend this one right away on reducing the damage we take. Self-preservation. Why can't I? What? What? I just got one. Why is that not two? Huh. That gave us... What? That's weird. All right, well, we'll still get it soon here. I did pick it up, right? 
Yeah, all right, I thought that would have been two. Anyway, now we're gonna go down here. Rather than go back the way we came, we're gonna jump up here, jump on up, and back here is the plasma rifle that we can get much earlier in the game, and this is considered another secret. So there you go, we just knocked out two more of the secrets, leaving us with four more to do. We're gonna turn around, and rather than go back down the hole, we're gonna jump across, kick open this grate, and this is gonna bring us back into the room with the elevator took us up to the yellow key. Go ahead and jump down here. We're gonna recall the elevator. It's gonna take its time. And this is also why we did not pick up the uh, the weapon drone right away, because I wanna go ahead and I wanna get the stun on this rather than the uh, charge shot on the, ex the shotgun. But of course you can buy your upgrades however you wanna do. If you're following along with this, you're always gonna have most of the upgrades as you play through, as they tend to come in about the same rate as you need them, uh, starting around level four. Okay, come back here. Uh, we'll pick up this health while we're here. Go ahead, and we're going to buy the stun bomb for the plasma rifle. Put that on there. Go through here. Now, rather than jump down, this is the room with the shotgun in it. Or, not the shotgun, had the chainsaw in it. In the back here, there's a little tunnel we can dive into. Not a tunnel, air duct. And we'll follow this back through which is gonna drop us into a room with another Praetor armor. Go ahead and pick that up. Now we can buy that upgrade I was looking to get before. Go ahead and upgrade that. Yay! Now we're not gonna be hurting ourselves with our shotgun. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna proceed ahead. The next area is outdoors. Uh, we're gonna go through the airlock and everything and we're gonna clear out that whole area outside by the radar dish and we'll cut back in then. All right, so we cleared out the outside area. Everything's dead because the music's nice and quiet. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna pick up this armor, but the next secret is located right here. So we're gonna come around and you wanna get up on this upper level and this little crate here with all of the blood all over it and then there's a whole bunch more blood on this air duct. We're gonna climb up here. At this point, we turn around and we jump and we can get up onto the roof of the main complex here. Go ahead and jump up through there. Come down in here. Now this isn't the actual secret. The secret's located in another little hidden area back there. There's our third Doom Dude now? I don't know, third, fourth, something like that. I think we got two in the first level and this is our second one here. Go ahead and go ahead and we will open this up and this will allow us to drop right in and go ahead and proceed on with the level. We are done with secrets for this area here. You'll notice we should have boom, ba -dum, ba -dum, one secret left, and one elite guard and one argent cell. All this is gonna be taking place after we've extended the radar dish and gone inside that door there. All right, so we've gone through that door, proceeded through the airlock, and we are now about to head into the last few secrets. The one of them, the Praetor Armor one's actually very easy to find. It's literally just off the, you gotta make a left-hand turn. Uh, we do need to fight our way through a little bit of a more challenging gauntlet here, mainly because of that guy with the shield right there. But we're gonna go ahead, we'll flip over, we'll stun him, we'll go shotgun, and he's dead. Go ahead and get rid of him. And right here, climb up, there should be an imp. Goodbye, imp. And there is our third Praetor armor. All that this leaves is one secret plus the Argent Energy. The Argent Energy is literally part of the cutscene. You can't miss it. So we're not gonna worry about covering that, but we will get the last secret here. So we're gonna come up here and dead ahead of us, whoops. Go ahead and die. Check our grenade, flip over, stun, shotgun him in the back. Up, oh, out of shotgun ammo. Go through those guys. I probably should have chainsaw one of them. Nothing in there. So, right dead ahead of there is where we're supposed to go in to see the Vega and we get the Argent Energy. Instead, we are gonna go to the left, climb up, climb up, jump up through, head down through this tunnel, and right there is our Doom Guy. So go ahead and bring up the list here. You'll see everything is complete, minus the Argent Cell, which is literally inside that room there with Vega, and we cannot miss it. So I'm not gonna go ahead and show that. We'll go ahead and cut the video here. Uh, until next time, though, this has been Pallor. Thanks for watching.